let's talk about a player that we really do need to have a decent offense, and he's hurt now. Andrew Thomas yeah. got hurt against the Bengals. You know, we talked about in the post game show that that was probably the worst we've seen him play in a long time. Uh, gave up two sacks to Trey Hendrickson. Uh, and apparently he suffered a foot injury in the game, which is why he was clearly struggling and not up to his usual level. Uh, after the game, he said he felt not great when asked. Uh, he's having an MRI on it today. We haven't gotten the uh, the news yet as far as what happened, uh, you know, as far as is it a bone? Is it a tendon? Like what's going on exactly? We don't, we have no clue. Uh, I will say when I hear MRI, not X-ray, X-ray makes me think a tendon kind of issue. Yeah, hundred um, percent. You look at that soft tissue, not bone. Yeah, the MRI. Yeah, but I mean, until they say otherwise, I'm never gonna rule anything out because who knows what the hell? I'm not. A, I'm not a doctor. I just play one on TV. God damn it. Yeah. Now on general. Damn it, Jim. Monday through Friday. <laughs> As the goofball turns, general now, goofball. Now my evil twin. Just need an <laughs> eye patch. Now I'm the evil twin. <laughs> or am I? Oh. Maybe I'm wearing a fakey once you think I'm the evil twin. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you know, it, it makes you wonder that what they're going to do if that happens. And I think the obvious plan is move Jermaine Illuminor over to left tackle, which stinks because he's probably been the best right tackle in all of football, basically, at this point. The guy hasn't allowed a single just, sack yet. Just not um, yet. But look at moving him maybe to the left side, and that makes you – Wonder is it time for the return of the burger flipper himself, Evan Neal? Ooh, I'm just saying, like that's yeah. Where we're at. And you know, I I wouldn't necessarily be opposed to it as long as the coach has confidence in him to play better than he has in the past. You know, this might be just what he needed. It may be that he needed some time at that point with the new offensive line coach that has some skill. Let's be very frank on that, Carmen Brasillo has got some skill as an offensive line coach. He's yeah, working he's... with, you know, garbage basically with the Raiders for, you know, was they didn't have any really high picks or anything like that. They had one. This is the best talent he's actually had probably as an offensive line coach because we keep on drafting guys because we can't ever develop them. And he's developed these guys. You know, can he, given a month or two with Evan Neal not playing, and I'm hoping there's been some focus on helping him on the side and stuff like that. Obviously, we have no way of knowing either way in that. But could he potentially fix Evan Neal? I just find it really hard to believe that Evan Neal goes from top. Such a top prospect. Yeah, yeah like this was can't miss prospect. Like, you know, I remember when we got him in the seventh overall pick, um, you know, we got, you know, we got like really excited about it because we didn't think we were to necessarily get him because we knew where to get cave on. Obviously we got him number five at that point there, you know, and I came was the guy we thought we were going to get because everybody thought Evan Neal would be the guy you take as the first tackle off the board. That would just make sense. But we took the position where there was one more elite edge rusher when there was two good elite tackles in their mind. They knew they could get one of the two. But we got the guy that we thought was the better option. Now, Kwanu, by the way, is playing very good this year for the Panthers. He's he's finally getting his, his stuff together. Is this the year that Evan Neal does? And I, I really don't have a lot of faith in him as a person, as a player, as somebody who play in New York City itself specifically because of all the issues and the comments he's had. You can tell things get under his skin. Guys, if there's one guy who can fix him, it's Carmen Brasillo. He's got a lot of faith in him. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> he's literally taking players. I don't want to call them scrubs because that's not fair. They, they've oh, taken average players, made them journeyman. look better. He's taking journeyman. You can say it that way. I mean, Greg Van Roten is an older player, has been around for a while. As Jet fans, he was horrible when he was a Jet. You know, Jermaine Illuminor has been this, I think, this third or fourth spot in the NFL at that point there. Uh, you know, he's been kind of a journeyman as well. You know, uh, it's just, you know, I mean, I mean, John running was at the point where the Packers were benching him on some running plays because of how bad he was at running the ball. I mean, run blocking. So it's like, yeah, he's he's done a lot with what he's got. Like I said, I just don't know. I don't know how much the Giants are like, okay, we let's work with this kid and see if we can salvage him. Or are they going... Let's just put him on the bench and just wait it out for the contract to be up. Like I don't know what mentality they're taking. 
I mean, it could definitely go either way. Yeah, but I could see it. I think I think if they're paying them, they're going to play him, especially on that rookie contract. Well, I mean, that's you know that's who you would think would be the guy. I mean, the guy's got a lot of starting, uh, you know, um, you know, uh, starting experience there. Obviously, he's got the pedigree. Obviously, at that point there, and he's literally listed as the backup. I mean, who else going to put out there? Zudu. Zudu has been an absolute bust too. You know, I mean, yeah, I, I don't know who else you would put out there to be very honest. But that's your two guys as swing tackles. I mean, Stinney has been a guard. You know, Kubas has, hasn't even played, but he's a guard. You know, Van Roten is listed basically as the backup center. So it's not like we have somebody over there we can go ahead and throw out there. So yeah, like I said, that's it's got to be Neil or Azudu. I think Neil will be the guy. But the hope is. The hope is, guys, that it's nothing major. We keep Andrew Thomas playing. I'll take eighty percent of Andrew Thomas over one hundred percent of Evan Neal any day of the week. Yeah, please. I'm going to take sixty-five percent of Andrew Thomas over over one hundred percent of Evan Neal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. It's not good, guys. It's not good. If you like that clip, then you will love the full episodes, too. Find us on your favorite podcast app and look for us on all your favorite social media platforms. Thanks so much. Please, I'm I'm begging you. Please, please subscribe.